Hey guys, everybody liked my last corn snake setup video, so I figured why not do one today. Uh, this is not my absolute best corn snake setup. I've gone through so many. I change it a lot. Um, but this is, in my opinion, a kind of good one, and I thought you guys might like it. So, let's just jump into it. I'm going to take you guys off the tripod and tell you what's in the cage. So, here we go. Right here on the hot side, you can see we have two Exoterra plants just back there. Kind of uh, badly set up, but, you know, whatever. Uh, there's a log that came with her old cage. I don't know who makes it or where it's from, uh, so I apologize. She is on Aspen at the moment. I've been thinking about uh, putting live plants in here, which may have me, or I might have to put Exoterra, or, um, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying, Eco-Earth in there. But I would test her uh, to see if she's alright with Eco-Earth if I was to do that, which I probably won't. There's the cork round hide uh, from Triple L Reptile. I actually broke off one side because I didn't like that it was a full circle. Because she would coil up in there and I couldn't get her out. So I broke off the bottom. And you might be able to see that in the back there. Uh, maybe right there under this branch. I have the little pieces back there just kind of for a filler and to hide some cords. Here we just have a log um, that was treated, by the way, a lot. Uh, the Exoterra large jungle vine going across the cage. Surreal vine from Triple L Reptile. Uh, there's some dollar store plants right there. There in the back there. There's the tree stump hide, also from Triple L Reptile. Uh, Exoterra large snake cave, Triple L Reptile.com. Uh, more dollar store plants that have been treated, a thermometer, and a water dish that I need to fill up. And then there's temperature probes here, here, and right there. So that's her cage. Up here, we just have a, what is it? Uh, Zoomed Daylight Blue Reptile Bulb, 60 watt. Keeps it nice and warm. Um, and right here, I don't know what kind of light. It's just a normal fish light. Uh, but it puts off enough heat to keep her cage warm. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take her out. Let me just put you back on the tripod. Here, let me move you over here. So yeah, she's doing really good. Uh, she's feeding on either three... Oops, I don't know why I did that. Three fuzzies or one hopper mouse. So that's really good. She's just back here. She's grown a lot. She weighs 75 grams right now. Um, it's actually feeding day soon, so she's kind of temperamental. So here she is. So you can see she's really fat. She's like the width of my finger. Really cool colors. <clears throat> As you can see. She's a really cool snake. Really not temperamental. Feeds really well. Uh, anybody can hold her. She doesn't throw a fit, which is usual for corn snakes. Um, and everything. She has nice colors on her belly, which every corn snake, almost every corn snake has checkered belly. She has nice yellow up by her, her head. Let's see if I can show you that light might be a little bit too bright oh there you go kind of kind of yellow and gold there she is hold on i'm gonna put her on the ground to kind of show you her spread out actually i think she's actually going into shed she looks small on the ground but she's actually pretty big uh, here's her compared to my foot. Ah, uh, she still looks small. She's a good, um, I'd say close to three feet, believe it or not. Doesn't really look like it, I don't know why, but her last shed was close to three feet. So there she is. Let's get you close to her. Really just a cool snake. I'm going to put you back up here. I really am glad I got her. 
So, if you guys like my uh, videos, you can go ahead and suggest some more. No guarantees that I'll for sure do them, but I'll try my best. Uh, and also, it would be really helpful if you like tech or like anything that has to do with iPods or iPhones or iPads, go over to youtube.com slash hunters I help that's also my channel um, that I review technology and everything to that um, genre I guess so that would really help I'd really be thankful or grateful if you did that it would mean a lot but again if you want more videos on Athena my snake go ahead and suggest some and I'll try my best to make them. Um, let's just show this our cage one more time. It looks way better in person. Video does nothing, like no justice. So I apologize for that. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I keep my light. Actually, that used to be a marshmallow gun. But I turned it into a light stand that just stands back there. And that... Um, the yellow things are the thermometers uh, that I taped onto the wall. Kind of a ghetto rig, I guess. But, you know, still pretty cool. So, I hope you guys like my video. If you did, please like. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button right up here somewhere. Or I think it might be down there. I don't know anymore. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.